What's happening, YouTube? What's happening, guys? Hey, guys, we're we're coming up here in the U.S. It's it's Thanksgiving week. Uh, I believe tomorrow for everybody, Thanksgiving, lots of food, all that kind of stuff. But there's also a lot of like 5Ks and 10Ks that are going on out there if you are participating in one. Good luck to every single one of you on those turkey trots uh, that we've gotten to know around here in the United States. So uh, anyways, guys, I hope all of you, the rest of you that are around the world, hope you guys are training well, getting uh, getting on with all of those miles that you guys are putting in. Anyways, guys, man, I'm excited about this video. Um, we're doing 100 miles, full review. I think I've already done a full review, but we're doing the 100 mile review on the ASICs Nova Blast ones. I just finished doing 100 miles in this shoe this morning. I wanna give you kind of my thoughts after 100 miles in this shoe. Probably my favorite daily trainer that I have ever ran in. And that says a lot because, again, if you guys watch my videos in the past, you probably know that probably one of my favorite daily trainers was the Windflow 5 uh, from Nike. And I think this just, this topped it for sure. Um, and if you haven't uh, been on this channel before, guys, welcome. Uh, we like to talk about running shoes here, some of the training stuff. I'm, a, I'm also a bigger guy. I'm not exactly a, uh, a skinny, uh, lightweight kind of runner. I'm, a, I'm just a, uh, just a normal, normal guy. That's why we call it Average Rob Runs here is because I'm just a normal guy who picked up running a few years ago. Uh, so that being said, if you guys wouldn't mind please clicking that subscribe button below uh, it really helps the channel out also at the end of this video if you wouldn't mind giving this video a big thumbs up it really helps the channel uh, reach out to other people a uh, broader audience also hey if you got your uh, your running friends your running mates uh, that you maybe want to share this video with uh, by all means share this video with your friends it really does help the channel out it really helps me out I appreciate it guys because I, I've this is a passion that I've taken on and in particular with this shoe uh, but <laughs> this is a passion that I've taken on over the past couple of years and um, uh, I'm gonna kind of get into a couple of things first but by the way guys on top of that I've also set a new record this year already for the most amount of miles that I have ever done in a year I have done well over a thousand miles now uh, I'm trying to close in on 1,100 miles, but I'm a little short right now. I'm about 50 miles short at this moment is what it is. I mean, I don't think I'm going to be able to hit the 1,200 mile mark for the year. Unfortunately, I've dealt with injuries and whatnot, and that's kind of set me back from what my end goal was, which was to average 100 miles a month. I think I'm just going to fall short just a little bit. Just a little bit, man. That's kind of what holds me back. But I did set a new record this year, 1,000 miles, over 1,000 miles already for the year of 2021. Last year, I only did, I think it was like 680 something, so almost 700 miles last year. So I've eclipsed that number, and I'm really excited about that because it just goes to show the training and the effort that I've really put in. Uh, also, to put some of these shoes that I've done reviews for uh, out to you guys. So thank you very much for watching and subscribing to the channel. Uh, getting into the ASICs Nova Blast, this is a version one. This is not the version two, version one. Uh, we'll go over some stats and features first. Uh, first and foremost, engineered mesh upper here. Um, uh, you know, we'll just kind of go into that. Engineered mesh upper, uh, got some light padding uh, on the tongue, around the heel collar. Uh, just a very typical daily trainer, breathable, all that kind of stuff. We'll get into more of that here in a little bit, how it overall felt over the last 100 miles. Uh, in the midsole here, we've got Flight Foam Blast, which is uh, kind of a really bouncy, I'd say fairly lightweight kind of material, but just a very bouncy, uh, soft, uh, just all around good midsole material that ASICS has created here. Uh, and some of the features about it, we've got uh, 30 millimeters of stack height in the heel. We've got 20 millimeters in the forefoot. Uh, which gives us a 10 millimeter drop. This is a neutral running shoe. And we'll kind of do the twist test here. Do the twist test, right? See how flexible it is. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, that's that's twisting pretty good. It's twisting pretty good. Uh, it's not going to be a stability shoe by any means. We'll get into that here just in a little bit. 
Uh, but yeah, Flight Foam Blast midsole from uh, four foot to heel. There's no gel in this. It's not like some of the other ASIC shoes where they put gel in it. This one does not have any of that. Uh, and then on the bottom here, we've got a HAR plus rubber underneath here. Nice decoupled groove. Uh, you can see it goes all the way around here. It kind of gives that trampoline effect. We'll get into that a little bit more here in a second and how it has held up over the last 100 miles. All right, uh, so we're gonna go into the upper first and I'm gonna start with the toe box area. To me, super breathable. I know there's a lot of people that say that it doesn't breathe as well as maybe the Nova Blast 2 and that may be the case, but as far as a daily trainer is concerned, which is exactly where I put this in. This is a classic daily trainer shoe. Um, shoes like the Nike Pegasus, the Saucony Ride, the um, those type of shoes, this shoe falls into that category, not only with the price point, but also with the way that it runs. But it's got a really nice, in my opinion, breathable toe box. Uh, hasn't shown anywhere as far as like the toes trying to reach through. Maybe a little bit right here where my pinky toe is kind of like yeah, rubbing up against it, but nothing major, no real like holes developing or, or, or whatnot going over here. The eyelet chain uh, has done really good job. It's, it's held up. There's no, it's, it's not starting to ovalize uh, in any of the eyelet holes here. It cinches down pretty tightly. I kind of would prefer like a wider cinch down because it just kind of locks down a little bit better over the midfoot. Uh, that being said, it's it's done a really good job. As you can see, I've done the runner's loop on here. Um, I, I do the runner's loop because on this shoe, it just provides just a little bit better lockdown. It kind of gets me tucked back into that heel pocket a little bit better. Uh, the tongue, like I said before, not a whole lot of padding over the tongue. That being said, the laces, the tongue, everything, the laces are rather thin. And that's probably about my only knock on the shoe is this, the laces are rather thin, but the the tongue has just enough padding where it doesn't feel like the laces are putting any pressure over the top of the foot. Really have enjoyed that. Uh, but overall, the tongue's comfort uh, lockdown has just been fantastic. I, I absolutely love that. It's not a gusseted tongue. It's the only thing that I didn't like about the version one. The version two is a gusseted tongue. Uh, but that's the only thing I didn't like about the version one. That being said, I never had the tongue moving around uh, over the top of my foot over the last 100 miles. So take that for what it is. Um, and the padding around the heel collar, very light. Again, very much a daily trainer shoe. Um, it's held up very well. There's no wear. I'm looking and you can even look too. There's just no wear on it. Um, haven't had any issues. There's a little bit of reflection on, in this back area here. You can kind of see it on the camera there. Uh, a little bit of reflective material on it, but uh, not a shoe that I would say would be a shoe that I would wear during a night run, to be completely honest with you. Uh, but that being said, heel cup, still very stout. After 100 miles, it's still a very stout heel cup that's on here. So uh, overall, very impressed with the upper of this shoe. Obviously, they've made some improvements on the version two that I really, really like. But overall, I mean, this shoe has just been fantastic for me. I've absolutely loved it. Uh, moving on to the midsole. Uh, the midsole is actually held up really, really well. It surprises me that the midsole is held up really well. And I say that because of my body weight. Asics kind of came out and said that if you weigh over, I think it was 197.5 pounds, this really isn't a shoe for you. And I come in at about 220 pounds. So I'm about 20 something pounds over uh, what they, what ASIC says that this shoe really should be used for is, is somebody that's a, a little bit lighter of a runner. But that being said, what impresses me the most on this shoe is that I'm not really seeing any creasing and that's even on the inside of the shoe. That's even coming to the outside, the lateral side of the shoe, not really seeing any creasing even on the pods, or I would say this pod compressive area that's in the back here. There's not a whole lot of creasing going on even in these these grooves right here which has been really impressive uh even on the inside the medial side maybe a little bit right here in the heel area uh but overall i'm very impressed with how this midsole has been holding up it is i i just the durability of it it just impresses me uh with what it's able to do um 
Going on to the outsole, like what we have right here, the outsole. Uh, Ahar plus rubber that we have going on right here. After 100 miles, I am not seeing much of any wear going on. Maybe a little bit right here because I do kind of, uh, what's it called? Under pronate, supinate, I guess you could say. A little bit. So I, I wear a little bit here, but uh, I've also noticed that in this shoe, I tend to pronate a little bit, which is kind of ironic, but I've got a little bit of wear on the outside here, not a whole lot on the inside, uh, but I've also looked at other shoes out there and they're pretty much in line, other neutral runners out there, they're pretty much in line with what I have going on right here. Just a little bit of wear, just, you know, from the paint really, uh, rubbing up against the exposed uh, uh, midsole right here but otherwise it's been holding up really, really well. Even the exposed midsole all around here, there's a little bit of abrasion right here in the forefoot, which I expect that, uh, but not a whole lot going on even in the decoupled groove. Overall, just the durability of the shoe just absolutely surprises me for a daily trainer after 100 miles seeing this amount of wear. Um, if I had to compare it to some of the other shoes that I've done 100 miles in, I think this shoe is doing a fantastic job even comparing it to like my old Pegasus 35s, uh, 36, the 37s. Uh, yeah. If I went through the Pegasus line that I've ran in, uh, even my Winflow 5s, uh, my Winflow 7s, you know, this shoe is, is holding up fantastically well. That being said, uh, we're gonna try to, we're gonna discuss the way that it runs. And like I said, this is a neutral runner shoe. Uh, it's also, I'm not gonna lie, it's not the most stable shoe. So you gotta have either strong ankles or if you're like me, like I said, I kind of supinate a little bit. This shoe kind of favors somebody that's, that supinates. Um, as long as you're you know, a supinate or a neutral runner, this shoe will be fantastic for you. If you tend to, to over pronate, probably not a very good shoe for you. You could probably use something with a little bit more stability than this. This shoe will collapse in on you uh, fairly easily. So um, I will say that if you heel strike, and I noticed this going down hills a little bit, if you if you heel strike, the, just the, how thin this is, and you can see that kind of hourglass shape, it does kind of become a little bit unstable. So the shoe really favors, in my opinion, the shoe really favors a light heel strike to more midfoot and forefoot strike uh, type of person. So uh, that being said, I you know I really like the way that it runs. It also does really well at a myriad of different paces. Okay, so you can go anywhere from recovery runs in this shoe all the way up to doing some tempo workout, even some interval workout in this shoe. It has a nice bounce to it, a really good amount of energy return. Um, I would definitely say that, I mean, even the weight of the shoe is not super heavy for a daily trainer shoe. So I've really enjoyed it. I think this, do, you know, this does a really fantastic job as far as a uh, runner shoe is concerned. So, um, I mean, it's, you know, it, it works good at all different paces. I think that's probably the biggest point out that I can really make on this shoe. It's just great at all different paces. Um, like I said, I've used it for long distance running. Uh, you know, I've done, I think somewhere around eight to 10 miles in this shoe, and that's about my max for the shoe. Uh, but I think other runners have taken this a heck of a lot further. Um, and been able to do really, really well with this shoe, uh, even at longer distances. But for me, about eight to 10 miles is about the max that I can take this shoe before I start thinking about like, eh, I could really use something with a little bit more forefoot cushion. It's just me, other runners, you know, are gonna be different. I am just one man. Uh, so, uh, so anyways, guys, uh, overall, the ride of this shoe is fantastic. For a daily trainer shoe, this has been a phenomenal daily trainer shoe because it works well at so many different paces. It doesn't feel heavy underfoot. It's got a ton of bounce, a ton of energy return. If you're doing, you know, five or 10 Ks, this might be a, a really good option for you because it just, it makes your legs feel very um, comfortable at all sorts of different paces. Even the run today, uh, which was, almost seven miles. It was 6.78 miles today, which got me to just over a hundred miles. 
uh, and I put it through a couple of different paces. I did anywhere from my uh, half marathon goal pace all the way down to my recovery run pace and even did a couple of, um, you know, I would say five to 10K pace-ish uh, tempo kind of paces in there as well. And it handled all of it. I mean, even at the change of paces, it, it changes pace really well. And the more you put into it is almost like the more it gives back. So the more energy you put into it, the more bounce it wants to give back to you, which is just an awesome shoe. Um, so yeah, that's kind of my my take on the Asics Nova Blast after 100 miles. And you know, guys, I, 100 miles in this shoe, I've done a lot of shoe reviews and I still have a lot of shoes that I haven't done reviews for for you guys yet. This is a shoe that I keep reaching back for every single time. If my legs are beat up for whatever reason, I wanna go for this. Uh, if, if I'm just trying to put in some mileage, this is the shoe that I reach for. I reach for this shoe so many times out of all of the other shoes that I have. I just absolutely love it. And it saddens me to see that it got to 100 miles because usually for me, that means with all the other shoes that I have, time to retire it. <sighs> because it's been such a workhorse for me, I've absolutely loved it. And guess what, guys? I'm gonna keep going in this shoe. <laughs> um, I am not going to relegate this one to retirement just yet. I think I'm going to keep on going in this shoe. It's just been a fantastic shoe. I do have the Nova Blast 2. I will start incorporating that in there. Uh, but I also have some other daily trainers that I'm working on already, uh, like the Puma Velocity Nitros, which are just fantastic shoe as well. Uh, but I'm going to keep going. There's still life in it. There's no reason for me to retire it. I'm gonna keep on going in this shoe. Some of the other shoes that I've gotten from other manufacturers, I've retired at 100 miles because you know they just don't feel as lively or as fun as they were. But this still feels fun after 100 miles, guys. I, I'm just going to throw that out there. It still feels great after 100 miles. Um, Fit, by the way, gonna hit this at the end. Fit, true to size, didn't have any issues. Toe box, perfectly wide, allows my toes to splay out, all that kind of stuff. Just awesome shoe. I absolutely love it. So anyways, guys, thank you guys for watching. Um, we're gonna keep on going in this shoe. Wouldn't surprise me if I do 150, 200 miles in this shoe. Um, you know, it's it seems like the build quality is there. So uh, again, guys, if you haven't done so already, please uh, click that subscribe button below. Um, and also give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Again, I get, I appreciate it guys. Thank you so, so much for watching. And as always, enjoy the run. See you next time.